rubbing my hands like Birdman on them today. Let's go. Let's go. I thought y'all was pissed off before. Y'all gonna be even more pissed off today. Let's go. I don't even. I don't even. I don't. I don't even know why y'all came out and ruffled my feathers. I don't, I don't even know why y'all did it to yourselves. We gonna get right into this. Um, some guy by the name of Damian Michaels made this post. It seems to have people in somewhat of an uproar. I'm going to reiterate here, okay? I'm going to reiterate. If I don't have access to her womb, I don't invest any energy in her. It's pointless. A woman who is definitely without a doubt feeling you will give you access to her womb. She will. If she is on birth control and playing safe or telling me not to nut in her, then she gets nothing outside of dick. That's true. If she is on birth control, I pay her traction to me no attention. We're going to go into detail about that. Because women on birth control cannot select the right mate at all. You cannot select the right mate. What I just now said, it's not debatable. Okay? I'm going to break that down for you too since you can't do research on yourself. Whew. Their brains are scrambled. Intuition is fucked. And their hormones are lying to them. That is why most women who come off of birth control either leave their man are no longer attracted to him, or may not even like his smell. And a study was done on this, and it found that women's attractions on and off birth control are night and day. Think about it. Do you think if I shut your nuts down for three to four years that your testosterone levels would be the same and you would possess the ability to hunt and pursue the right woman? No. You'd be a weak, emotionally unstable man with beta tendencies running around getting used or played by women. You wouldn't be yourself. So with that said, women on birth control get a very short leash from me, if anything. You have nothing to offer procreation-wise, and your brain is scrambled by birth control. Investing in you is a liability. Not to mention all the cysts, endometriosis, birth problems, suicidal thoughts that I don't speak about, the acne that onsets comes on afterwards because birth control keeps acne off of your face, depression, the loss of libido, a lot of you lose your sexual libido, but you don't want to talk about that because y'all, y'all just want to appease feminists. Your weight gain and everything else that comes along with it. Once again, Damian Michaels has not said anything that's not true. And other things that happen during and once she comes off of birth control. I refer to it as the rubber band effect. She can be as pretty or as bad as she wants to be. I don't care, I don't give a fuck. I'm reading her hormone levels and her pussy energy. If it's stagnant and the womb is bound by birth control, she gets the bare minimum. Technically, to me, she isn't even a whole woman. Just a shell of one. Walking around, acting, dating the wrong fucking males because her GPS is scrambled. Here you guys are. Angry, right? Angry once again because Damian Michaels is, he's mansplaining and blah, blah, blah. You, you feminists are really, really fucking, y'all are just killing everything out there, running your mouths. Y'all need to go into a cave and hide. Now, let me go on to break this down a little bit further. And please, by all means, I'd appreciate it if y'all would, you know, drag this live. You know, because y'all like dragging it. Dr drag this live. Drag this live also. I'd really appreciate it. I really uh, Drag this also. Because y'all had big mouths on that post. Drag this shit, okay? This is a study. I'm going to read a study. Because y'all don't do fucking research on your own pussies, on your own brains, on your own motherfucking dating rituals. You don't know what you're doing. I should not have to break this down for you. And women, y'all don't talk about it. Y'all don't talk about it. Y'all don't post about it. Y'all hide from this shit. All right? Let's go. Birth control pills could screw up a woman's ability to sniff out a compatible mate. A new study finds. This ain't got shit to do with me. I already did my research. While several factors can send a woman swooning, including big brains and brawn, body odor can be critical in the final decision, the researchers say. That's because beneath a woman's flowery fragrance or a guy's musk, the body sends out aromatic molecules that indicate genetic compatibility. Stay with me here. Major histocompatibility complex, MHC genes, are involved in immune response and other functions. And the best mates are those that have different MHC smells than you. The new study reveals, however, that when women are on birth control, they prefer guys with matching MHC odors. 
the wrong guy. Okay? I know, I know, I'm misogynist. I know, I'm misogynist. I hate women. Keep listening. MAC genes churn out substances that tell the body whether a cell is native or invader. When individuals with different MAC genes mate, their offsprings' immune systems can recognize a broader range of foreign cells, making them more fit. What does this tell you? If you're going to try and attempt to breed with a woman whose MAC genes are off, you're going to have offspring. You're going to have offspring with a horrible immune system. Okay? Past studies have suggested couples with dissimilar MAC genes are more satisfied. Couples with different MAC genes are more satisfied and more likely to be faithful to a mate. Y'all can do your own research, okay? Y'all can do your own research when I'm done. Because I know I'm, I'm talking pseudoscience, I'm mansplaining, and I'm misogynist. And the opposite is also true with matching MAC couples showing less satisfaction and more wandering eyes. So if you're with a woman who's with you because you have similar MAC genes to her, you're going to be dealing with a woman who is less satisfied, has more of a wandering eye, and she's more promiscuous. Again, I did my research. You didn't do yours. Let's keep going. Not only could MAC similarities in couples lead to fertility problems, said lead researcher Stuart Craig Roberts, an evolutionary psychologist at the University of Newcastle in England, but it could ultimately lead to the breakdown of relationships when women stop using the contraceptive pill, as odor perception plays a significant role in maintaining attraction to partners. What the fuck did I say wrong in my post that y'all didn't get? Say something now. Where, where's all the feminists now? Where are you women on birth control now? And I'm not even done. I'm, 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 I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish decapitating y'all. The study involved about 100 women aged 18 to 35 who choose which of six male body odor samples they preferred. They were tested at the start of the study when none of the participants were taking any birth control. And three months later, after 40 of the women had started taking birth control more than two months prior. For the non-birth control users, results show the significant preference for similar or dissimilar MAC odors. When women started taking birth control, their odor preferences changed. These women were much more likely than other women to prefer similar MHC odors, meaning these women were more likely to select the wrong male with the wrong genes to breed with. Based on the work by Klaus Wittekind, University of Lausanne, researcher who performed similar studies in the 90s, he suggested a likely reason for the effect on a woman's odor preference. The birth control puts a woman's body into a hormonal pregnant state. The reason she doesn't ovulate. And during that time, there would be no reason to seek out a mate. Peak game. You're going to shut down your entire fucking reproductive system. You really think up here is still going to be functioning like, oh, to get a maid, no to this, that, and the third? No, you shut all of this down. You're flying by the seat of your pants. Now you're just like, oh, I, I want a boyfriend or I want this stuff. Or, yeah. You don't know what you're doing. You think you do, but you don't. When women are pregnant, there's no selection pressure. Evolutionarily speaking, for having a preference for genetically dissimilar odors. Did you hear that? When women are pregnant, there's no selection pressure for, for having a preference for genetically dissimilar odors. What is that telling you right there? When a woman is pregnant, she's not seeking out any kind of man or another man with genes that are similar to hers. Why? She's pregnant. It has been shut down. And if there is, if, and if there is any pressure at all, it would be towards relatives who would be more genetically similar because the relatives would help those individuals rear the baby. So, birth control puts woman's bodies into a post-mating state, even though she might be still in the game. The, the birth control is, in effect, mirroring a natural shift, but at, at an in, inappropriate time. The birth control is basically telling your brain that you're pregnant when you're not.
an individual by the name of Hertz here says, marriage counselors who have never heard about these studies tell her that the number one complaint among women who come off of birth control is that they are no longer sexually interested in their husbands and they can no longer stand how he smells. If you can't stand how someone smells, you cannot become intimate. This has to do with the sense. This has to do with the genes. This has to do with the way a woman reacts to you on birth control and when she acts off birth control. That's why I made the post to bring it to light to people so that people could do their research, so women could do their research. Like, it's ridiculous to attack me when I'm trying to fucking educate you, okay? I'm trying to educate you. If I'm a woman and I read that post, I'm not going to attack the man, you know, but y'all are brainwashed by feminists. As soon as a man says something, y'all want to attack him. Instead of doing your own research, the first thing you should have said was, damn, I'm on birth control. Is this nigga I'm with the nigga I'm supposed to even be fucking? That's what your brain should have said. If you're in a marriage or you got into a long-term relationship and you've been on birth control for two or three years, you should be going, did I select, did I select him because I was under this birth control spell? You, you should be questioning yourself, not attacking me. What are you attacking me for? I figured this shit the fuck out. That's all. I've dated women on birth control. Let me break it down. Dated one girl on birth control because this is what, you know, I'm going to talk about it. This is what women do when their daughters have shitty, horrible fucking diets and their cramps and they're bleeding and they're complaining. They take them to the doctor. The doctor goes, nah, he doesn't mention changing her diet. He doesn't say put her on a raw vegan diet. He doesn't say any of those things. He goes, put her on birth control. So they put her on birth control. Guess what? This girl has been on birth control her entire life. She was a grown woman at the age of like 25, 26. Guess what? Her titties stopped developing. She had the breast of like a 13-year-old. You, you hear me? She had the breast of a 13-year-old. Of a 13-year-old. Her sexual libido was shot. I didn't even realize it at first, but she only wanted that. And, and you, y'all will figure this out because I'm, I'm just going to pour out all the shit so you can see it. They'll only want to have sex like once a month. They'll have the sexual libido to have sex like maybe once a month. Like it'll come around and it'll flutter and then after that it's gone. Another one. She had already had a child. Then after that she went on birth control for two years. When she came off birth control she tried to have a child again. Guess what? She had a miscarriage. She actually had two miscarriages. And she actually didn't even tell me that she had those miscarriages until after she, if I'm correct, I think she might have had a miscarriage and not told me about it. But after that last miscarriage, she kind of relationship wise, she kind of faded off as if she started to come to terms with maybe her womb wasn't functioning the way it was before birth control. Then I had another ex who I actually even told her not to go and get on birth control, but this is what she wanted to do. She was in school, you know, blah, 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 this, that, and the third. She went and got the depot shot. Went and got the depot shot and everything about her, everything about everything that was going on with her fell off. Everything fell off. Her demeanor fell off. Everything fell off. One day I woke up, went in the room. She was sitting in the bed just bleeding, bleeding from her vagina, bleeding, couldn't move, cramps in the whole entire nine. Okay, another girl, she was dating some guy, ended up going to have a goddamn abortion. After that, she decided, listen, I'm just going to go and get on birth control. Okay, cool. Go do that. Guess what? This girl, she completely and utterly lost her sexual libido. Completely and utterly lost it. Gone. Okay, like, I'm not trying to tell y'all some shit so that I can... I don't know, manipulate y'all. People were going on the post talking about, this is the man that, that tries to trap women with, does it seem like I'm trying to trap a woman with a baby or does it seem like I'm trying to avoid the wrong woman? I'm even trying to avoid a situation where I'm the man in her life and she has selected me. 
And when I'm telling y'all these situations about me with my exes, I didn't know this information. I had no idea. I had none. The only thing I knew at the time was that birth control caused women all kinds of motherfucking issues and nobody talked about it. That was it. So I decided to do my own research to figure out what was going on. And on my other page, which was deleted, I made a post on it. And I asked women about all their experiences, about what happens with them when they're on birth control, when they come off of birth control. And honest women, honest women, not feminists, not women who hate me for no reason, honest women came on to say, yeah, you're right. I remember I came off of birth control and right after that, I couldn't stand my boyfriend. Yep, I came off of birth control and it wasn't too soon after that that my eyes opened up and I, I, I didn't see my husband in the same light anymore. Women will come out and tell y'all this if you actually give them a space to do it, okay? Like, y'all need to just stop with y'all bullshit. If you can't do no research, you can't be authentic, you can't be transparent, you can't be honest with yourself, that's on you. You feel me? That's on you. Sapphire Scales, thank you, I appreciate that. I really, really do. Everything you're saying is the truth. I would love to do a video with you. I experienced birth control and didn't like it. I knew it was wrong before I even got on it. It completely made me a different person. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all sitting out here trying to drag a post for a man that just spoke absolute truth. For a man that actually did research on y'all. For, for, for a man that actually cares about the genes that he's trying to procreate and replicate. What? Y'all are so used to dealing with weak-minded beta males to just fly off the seat of their fucking pants and pander to all y'all emotions. Y'all don't understand real men at all. As soon as we open our mouth, the first thing I want to do is mansplain. He hotep this, he hotep that. Y'all got to look at all y'all retarded comments. Y'all can eat that shit now. All y'all bullshit ass comments on that post, y'all can eat that shit. Swallow it. All y'all look stupid. You look stupid now. Calling me misogynist. He must hate women. And yeah, to say you can't give a woman an orgasm without what? What are you talking about? My post had nothing to do with that. My post had everything to do with energy, research, and hormones. Y'all have, y'all don't possess the. Some of y'all just don't realize you're not intelligent. Y'all sit around thinking that you have to, you're not intelligent. If you were, you'd be able to think in 360 degrees. I can, I can flip it around for you, right? Take your man, any man. Take a, take a bodybuilder in the gym. Do you think a bodybuilder hyped up on testosterone, jacked up on steroids, is operating in his right mind? Do you? Because I wasn't. For two years, I was on steroids. And then I had to come off. When I was on steroids, I was angry. I was overly aggressive. I wasn't even thinking straight about anything. When it came to women or anything like that, I had no thoughts about anything in regards to relationship or, or uh, infidelity or nothing. It was just a fucking entire fucking fuck fest. Soon as I came off of steroids, what happened? As soon as I came off of steroids, my testosterone dropped. While I was on steroids, my ball strength, my balls strength. When I say my ball strength, man, my, my ball strength so goddamn much, that was one of the reasons I got off of steroids. Why did my ball strength? Because my balls were not making testosterone. After I came off of steroids, you're supposed to take something called Proveron or Noveldex to restore your testosterone back. I didn't. Why? Because I was going through depression at the time after coming off of steroids. I was depressed because my hormones went from a high to a low. I was depressed. I remember I got into some, it wasn't even an argument. It was like a disagreement with my girl. I don't cry about anything. Here I am sitting in my room sniveling like a little fucking bitch. Why? Because I fucked up my hormones. It goes both ways. A lot of y'all sitting out there with cysts, endometriosis, suicidal thoughts. Y'all don't talk about them suicidal thoughts. Talk to a girl about that before and she, yeah, that was another girl. She came on my post and she said, yeah, I just started having 
I, I started having dreams and, and, and ideas of killing myself and I didn't know why. Talk about that. Can we talk about that, please? Y'all don't want nothing real. Y'all want bullshit. Y'all want superficial bullshit all day long. Y'all want Derek Jackson bullshit pandering to your feelings and all that bullshit all day long. Y'all hear some real shit, your brain gets scrambled and you attack it. So, now you know why Damian Michaels doesn't prefer women on birth control, okay? A woman on birth control, she has, she's, has no, she has nothing invested in you, nothing at all. For one, I might be the wrong male. Two, we're not procreating or doing anything soon. And like three, on the inside, there's a whole bunch of turmoil going on that I don't want to deal with. I don't want to deal with it then, and I don't want to deal with it when she comes off. Like, think about that as a male. Think about having it. You have this information now as a male. Let me ask you a question. As a male, knowing your fiance or girlfriend is on birth control right now, do you feel like investing in a future in her, not knowing what's going to happen when she comes off that birth control? I just asked you a real ass fucking question, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And no matter how much people want to hate me, at the end of the day, the research doesn't lie. You, you got to figure that out. If you're a man and you're in that situation, it's a good question to ask yourself. Did you select a woman who selected you because you had similar MAC genes or dissimilar MAC genes? Don't try and come for me. I do my research. <laughs>